Hey HPU family, my name is Stacia Robertson. I graduated in the class of 2014 and I also was a member of the women's basketball team while at HPU and I just wanted to stop by and first and foremost say thank you to everybody at HPU. I want to express how proud of an alumni I am um, always but especially right now during this crisis HPU is going above and beyond um, what they normally do which is a ton and I saw that HPU is you know donating PPE donating bottled water um, meals and that's actually how I got connected to what I'm currently involved with as well which is a program called D up I saw that dr. Reich my who was my professor at HPU in the, in the exercise uh, in the exercise science department she is involved with this program so I gave her a little shout out on Facebook and she kind of explained the program to me and what it's about and I immediately just wanted to be involved. We wanted to do something for them so they can get up, get active, stay active if they're just you know sitting on the couch watching TV all day. And so each week we're coming up with these videos for these kids. I urge you all to participate in something. Right now I think everybody has some extra free time that they can devote to other causes. And think of your alma mater, obviously HPU is doing so much. So if there's anything you can do to support HPU, please do it. I plan on donating to the HPU Cares Fund very soon uh, because like I said, I'm just so proud of everybody involved. So we need to support our university, support the staff and students there, and everybody stay safe and go Panthers. To start off, we are going to um, start with ball handling. Uh, very crucial, something you can do every single day. Uh, growing up, it's, it's very, very important. Even as a post player, I wish I would have, you know, spent thousands more hours ball handling. Um, because people are so versatile these days, so you really do need to be able to handle the ball um, playing at a, at a high, high level. Um, and then we'll go into a little bit of form shooting, which I think we agree is, is another big crucial thing, especially right now while we're all at home. We can rep form shooting a ton and we can rep ball handling a ton. So the first drill that we're going to do is just to kind of wake our arms up. Uh, and get ourselves ready for ball handling. So we're gonna do 30 dribbles total. It's gonna be 10 low dribbles, 10 midway, which comes about to your waist area, and then 10 high dribbles where you're just pounding the ball. So we're trying to, we're warming ourselves up for the rest of ball handling. So depending on what level you're at, um, in the beginning, if you need to look down at the ball, it's okay, but as you advance, we really wanna try to keep our eyes up, okay? Now, go. Hard pounds. Six, seven, eight, nine, High. Two, Ooh. Five, six, eight, nine, uh, and anything that we do with your right hand, you have to be really good uh, with your opposite hand as well. So now we have to switch over to our left. And go. And the key points to that is that you want to pound the ball as hard as you can. The more power you have with it, the faster the ball comes back up, which gives you more control of your dribbling. So right. now next we're going to do is we're just going to do 20 pounds with just your right hand. Ready, go. Same thing with your left. Ready, go. So yeah, make sure we're staying low on all these. Right. Uh, so next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do windshield wipers. So we're just gonna we're gonna go back and forth. Stacia would show you how to do it first. Okay. So with right hand. You see how she's forth. staying low and she's tr she's keeping the ball below her knee as best as she can. So we're gonna do 20 reps of that on both hands. So ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Same thing with our left. Ready, go. Now we're going to do 
the same thing, but it's gonna be to our side. Uh, and as Stacia said before, you still wanna kinda of have your eyes up, but if you need to look over to the side to make sure you can keep your dribble, that's fine as well, but uh, you still wanna to try to get your eyes up as much as possible. All right, so 20 on the right. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And we'll move to the left side now. Ready? Go. One, two. Good. So now we, we, we just worked on this, which is our windshield wipers. Now we're gonna make it complete and we're gonna do a full crossover. So, Sasha so will uh, sh show you how we're gonna do the crossover first. We're gonna take two hard dribbles, cross it over. Keep this low, pound it hard, quick cross. So your dribbles don't have to be super fast, but then you want that quick cross. So now we're gonna do 10 reps of that. Uh, and since we're actually we're crossing over, we don't have to switch from left to right. Ready, go. coordination is the figure eight. Uh, the figure eight is very, very important and it's definitely a drill that you should do every day. It, 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 you will learn to keep your eyes up and it'll also just help you with your overall game. So Stacia is going to show you how you should start the drill off before we go into the dribble portion of it. Yeah, so this is always how we start figure eight just to get a good feel for the ball in this figure eight rhythm, right? And we're really slapping the ball hard with our hands for the good control. All right. So then as you get this rhythm down and it starts to feel more comfortable, go quicker. Right? Quicker, quicker, quicker. But if you're not this fast, that's fine. You can continue just to go here because we're just trying to work on getting better. Right. Now, once you have that down, um, I'll swing it to Reggie and he will show you the dribble version of the figure eight. So with the dribble portion of the figure eight, uh, what you want to really focus on is not having a lot of dribbles, but you don't want to rush through it. We're, we're going to work our way up of gradually getting faster, but you don't just want to throw the ball through because then you're not really getting much out of it. So to do it, we're going to start off with a dribble and then we're just slowly going through. And this one might be one where you do need to keep your eyes down at the ball more often than not at the beginning. But as you continue this rhythm and it starts to feel better, try bringing your eyes up, okay? Right. So now for the ones who are not comfortable with the dribble portion, Stacia will do that for 10 reps. And for the dribble portion, I'm gonna do uh, for 10 reps. Uh, and you just follow whoever you're more comfortable with. Right. So ready, go. Good job. Now, uh, try to reverse it. So if you were going in the front this time, like this, try to go backwards. So that way we're still working on all parts of the game. And this also helps off with your ball handling as well. So, ready, go. It's okay to mess up. That's good, that's part of the game. Yeah, we even need to keep working on these. Good. We're gonna roll into some form shooting. So 
I would love to partake in this portion, but Reggie has one of the best shooting forms uh, of anybody I've ever seen shoot the ball. So I'm gonna pretty much hand this portion over to him. Uh, I'm gonna teach you a few things um, that'll be very critical to shooting. Um, and these things you can do every day, like, you know, like me and Sasha told you, you don't have to have a basket to do these. These can be a few things that you do to improve your game. And if you do this every day, um, you, you have a really, really good chance to become a good shooter. But you have to be very uh, disciplined in, in doing this. So, one of the main things when it comes to shooting is you want to have good balance. And to have good balance, you want to have good footwork. So your feet, you want them to be shoulder width apart. You don't want them to be too out, and you don't want them to be too close. But you want them to be shoulder width apart. If you're a right-handed shooter, you will have your right foot ahead just a slight, just a little bit. And if you're a left-handed shooter, it'll be the opposite for you. So next, once we have a good, good balance, when we have the ball in our hands, first you want to have it on your fingertips, not on the palm of your hand. That helps you with having good rotation. Another thing with having good rotation while shooting is having your, having your fingers in between the lines on the ball. Every ball has them, uh, and if you can get your fingertips in between those lines, it'll also help you with having really, really good rotation. If you watch Klay Thompson, Steph Curry, Kyrie Irving, Kyle Korver, and many, many other really, really good shooters, that's a big thing that they, they're always looking for when they catch the ball. So now, once we, once we get into our, our shooting form, you want to have your knees slightly bent. You don't want to be too bent or you don't want to be locked, locked knee, right? You want to have a slight bend. So next, we want everything to be aligned. You don't want your elbows too far out. You don't want your elbows too far in. You want your elbow to be right above the top of your toe, as I'm gonna show you right here. Now, I have my knees slightly bent. I have my fingertips on the ball and my fingertips are also on the line. I'm gonna come up slowly, release at the top. I'm gonna to hold till the ball falls down, then I'll reset. See it here, I'm coming up. I hold my follow through, the ball comes down. Now, uh, this drill is something that you can do for 10 to 15 minutes. If you have a partner, you guys can shoot back and forth to each other, but if you don't have a partner, all you have to do is get your rebound, toss it out to yourself, you know, have your feet just right, toss it out to yourself, catch, make sure everything is right. This is a, not a drill that you wanna do super fast. You wanna get your proper mechanics down so it become muscle memory. Come right down, come up, shoot, get the ball, do it again. Come up, shoot, get the ball. Here, I'll do it to the side. All right, same thing so you can see Everything's in a line. I hold the follow through, get it. Ball comes back, toss it out. Follow through, get it, come back. And for form shooting, that is, that's all we're gonna do this week. Yeah, and the biggest difference between us going from ball handling to form shooting right there is the speed, okay? So ball handling, yes, in the beginning, you're going slow, you're getting the motions, but we're, we're challenging you to work faster and faster every time. And you know, every day that you do it, trying to get better. But with form shooting, but with form shooting, we, um, we really want you to focus and, and work through it slowly in the beginning because this is a huge process, right? So your, your shooting form is what sticks with you forever. Um, so really take your time. If you want to, um, we, would, we would love your videos. If you want to uh, practice your shooting form and send them to us, we would be more than happy to you know, give you tips and pointers on how to correct anything that you're doing with your shooting form. Um, it, it's really crucial right now, especially since you have so much time, you can work on it throughout the day. Um, but we'd love to help out in any way we can. Yes. And next thing, I know that the drill seemed very, very simple 
and slow and next week we will, we will pick it up more and we will add more explosive things but just remember that the basics always last and no matter if you're in elementary school middle high school college or professionally you always get back to the basics so that's all for today um thanks we hope you guys had some fun with us today and we will see you next week bye everybody bye